But as the government, we have a responsibility to protect the interests of the people of Trinidad and Tobago first and foremost. Whatever we feel about the people of Venezuela and their circumstance, our first and primary responsibility is to protect the interests of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. You look at the map of North and South America, and Venezuela is a huge space. Trinidad and Tobago is a tiny dot in the mouth of the Orinoco River. Population-wise, we have 1.3 million people on these islands. Venezuela has 33 million people. doesn't matter whose fault it is. The Venezuelan problem is for Venezuelans. We are humanitarian, we are caring, we help. But the help that Trinidad and Tobago can give has to be limited. This little island cannot be the solution to millions or hundreds of thousands of migrants leaving Venezuela. And secondly, international agencies, many of them with different agendas to our interest in Trinidad and Tobago, will not encourage us into converting Trinidad and Tobago, this little island state, island nation, in the mouth of the Orinoco, into any refugee camp for the larger Venezuelan problem. To protect the interests of the people of Trinidad and Tobago, we will have to limit our exposure to the fallout from Venezuela. And to do so, initially, we allowed our doors to remain open. Venezuelans came here, could spend 90 days and go back, and that's been going on. And as things got a little worse, more of them came and we kept our doors open. But there comes a time when the volume and the presence of these migrants, economic migrants in Trinidad and Tobago, will threaten the quality of life of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And it falls to us to protect ourselves from that. So therefore, the registration is one to tell us how many are here, who are here, who they are, and where they are. That is to protect our interests. Now, in keeping our doors open, we're also keeping our eyes on how many people are coming into the country requiring sustenance. But more importantly, by keeping our doors open as wide as we had before, we are not naive. The criminal element saw opportunities. And if we don't manage our borders and keep our door sufficiently ajar to manage the flow through, then this new business of people choosing to enter the country other than the designated places to enter will overwhelm us. And that is why we are patrolling our borders and the policy we're pursuing, and we want all to know this, if you do not come into our country through a proper port of entry, which remains open, but we are controlling the flow, if you come through other areas, you start by breaking the law, and if you are here illegally, we will deport you.